Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Crypto Corner Tutorials. Today I'm doing a tutorial on how to update your KeepKey device. If it's already been set up and you haven't updated it, they have a new release, new update. So next time when you connect it, you will need to update it. You will get a message that you need to update the device. So I'm going to guide you through the steps on what you need to do in order to complete this update. Okay, so let's get started. First, I'm going to assume that you've already got your keep key and it's all set up and ready. If you haven't set it up yet, I have another tutorial, a previous video that I recorded where I'm guiding you through the steps on the initial setup when you're setting it up for the first time. Today, I'm doing a tutorial on how to update your device. So this is only for people who are already having their device set up, but they haven't updated it. And this would be the same process for pretty much every update. So even if you are watching this video a few months from now and there is a new update, the process will be the same. So you can refer to this video. Also, you can refer to the setup guide here if this is the first time you're setting it up. The getting started on the keep key official website i'm going to have a link to that below the video so make sure you check out the description below the video um, this link will be there so you can also refer to this setup guide here so that's about it let's get started let's uh, open the device and connect it to the computer by the way this is a bag that i just ordered from amazon i literally just got it it cost me 12 bucks and um, it's really useful for carrying your ledger trezor and keep key i don't really have trezor yet but uh, it for me it's keep key which i keep here and uh, the good thing about it is that one cable is connecting all of the devices it's the same cable that keep key is using and ledger is using and the trezor as well so for traveling this is good because it's quite bulky and you can't really lose it and uh, the devices unfortunately are quite tiny so um, they can easily get misplaced or even lost especially when you're traveling with a lot of luggage and you have so many things that at some point you start forgetting things and losing things so this is why i'm going to include a link to that as well even though if someone wants to steal it they can take the whole thing but at least it's very difficult to lose that because it's quite big so yeah link will be in the description below so i'm starting the keep key application here on my computer and i'm going to connect the device if i just connect the device the standard way i will get this message here that there is an update available i'm also getting this instruction here it tells me to unplug the device and to hold the start button which is this one here and as i'm holding this button i need to plug it in so let's do that let's unplug so now i'm going to keep my finger on the button here and i will connect it and now i'm getting the message that it's in firmware update mode okay so now i'm going to check this box here that i have my backup sensors in case my keep key needs to be recovered and i'm going to click on update firmware now i have to confirm it also on the device so i'm going to click here and hold it until i get the check sign as you saw it's updating already and it's done so now i'm going to disconnect and connect it again so i'm disconnecting let's connect and now i'm prompted to select my pin okay now let's enter that and as you can see it is starting to load my account as soon as it synchronizes all the information it will display it here this is it it's all done i can now open my wallet and proceed with whatever transactions i want to make okay so this is it i'm ready now and i can put my device back and this was the whole update it's as you can see really simple just a click of a couple of buttons and you're done so uh, if you like this tutorial please give me the thumbs up and share it with other people as well if you have any comments 
add them below I'm going to check comments and if there's any questions about keep key make sure that you refer to my first video thanks for watching guys I'm gonna see you in my next video tutorial very soon